Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 17th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather nice and mild this week, but we'll see rain from time to time and a chance of some severe weather before the week is over. Let's uh, get in there and take a look. Here's the big picture, the water vapor satellite view this morning. It's a zonal flow. That's going to keep the really cold air to the north. Pretty good short wave coming through the northern plains. That's going to produce winter storm conditions for cities like Milwaukee and Chicago today. Starting off the morning here in the 30s and 40s, Birmingham at 45 at daybreak. We'll expect to be well up in the 60s today. And around the nation, uh, the cold air mainly over eastern Canada and the northeast United States. But again, the upper flow is going to keep that north of us. We're not going to deal with uh, cold weather this week. Up north, winter storm warnings in effect for Chicago, Milwaukee. Looks like some freezing rain advisories down into St. Louis, but uh, no snow, no ice for Alabama this week. But rain, yes. This is the rain through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rain amounts of 2 to 2 and a half inches here. Got a bullseye down around uh, Lake Martin of 2.8 inches, and ooh, look at here. All of a sudden, we've got a severe weather outlook on day four. That's Thursday and day five. It's Friday. The uh, primary threat's going to be uh, late Thursday night into very early Friday morning. This might be a you know, midnight to 6 a.m. kind of thing. And the main threat's going to be from strong, perhaps damaging straight-line winds, as you will see in modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Strong energy north of the state. Surface low develops near St. Louis. Good snow north of the surface low. Some freezing rain down around uh, uh, St. Louis. During the day today, I think we'll be dry. Uh, clouds will increase and we'll reach the mid to upper 60s. This is tonight at midnight. A deepening surface low is near Cleveland with a trailing front, and that's going to bring a band of showers down in here. But it's, uh, you know, the, the rain should not be all that heavy with this thing. But clearly, a chance it will rain at times on us tonight. And it might be late tonight, toward uh, midnight, before that stuff gets in here. And then this is tomorrow and everything's gone. The front kind of washes out with no upper support. And uh, there's no cold air. In fact, the uh, GFS prints a high of 69 tomorrow. And uh, we might see a decent amount of sunshine. We'll say uh, partly sunny, but should be a nice day tomorrow. Very, very nice. Wednesday, what's left of the old boundary begins to work its way north as a warm front. Uh, the high will be at or just over 70, clouds around, maybe a few widely scattered showers, but clearly it's not going to be you know, a rainy day, just the chance of a little rain in spots. Now, this is Thursday. Got a strong trough coming in from the west, and down below that, a deepening surface low is located southwest of Chicago, uh, 996 millibars, and Thursday here will be mild and breezy. We reach the low and maybe mid-70s. That'll be, be close to record levels. The uh, GFS printing 75. And this is Thursday night at midnight. We've got the uh, surface load down to 989 millibars with a band of storms pushing into West Alabama. And then by Friday at noon, it's out of here. And the weather starts to turn cooler. Not really dramatically cold, but uh, certainly cooler. So what about the severe weather possibilities? Let's look. Now, these are the values Friday or Thursday night at midnight. First off, instability. And uh, as you typically have in these events in February, there's hardly any cape that shows up. Uh, the instability values are generally under 750 joules per kilogram. But we all know that is sufficient for some severe weather. Don't let the lack of green fool you. Uh, this is what's pretty impressive. Look at the wind fields with this thing. I mean, the winds are screaming. This is the low-level jet at about 5,000 feet off the ground. This is where the pressure is 850 millibars, and you've got a 80-knot uh, uh, core closer to the uh, low up there. But the winds down into North Alabama are in the 60 to 70-knot range. 
And it won't take a lot to bring that down to the surface in the, under these conditions, which means the primary threat with this will be a linear band of storms with strong, maybe damaging straight line winds. However, the uh, low-level bulk shear values are pretty high. And the uh, let's see some 40-knot values in there. So if we have any breaks in the line, there might be a, a you know tornado or two in there somewhere. Uh, probably a small, short-lived type tornado. So again, the main threat late Thursday night will be from strong, damaging straight-line winds. We cannot rule out the chance of a tornado or two with shear values like that. And we'll we'll say the main risk will be from 10 p.m. Thursday until 6 a.m. Friday, and we can fine-tune that as we get closer. This is Saturday, and uh, boy, that looks like a nice day to kick off the weekend. Should be gorgeous, a good supply of sunshine. The weather should be dry. High would be in the middle 60s. But look what's right back on Sunday. Here comes a batch of rain uh, with a, a wave down in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, that Sunday at this point looks relatively wet. And the high would be in the low 60s if this is right. And a week from today, uh, this is the 24th. Again, the flow is relatively zonal, but there is a, a vortex north of us, and that looks colder at 1041 highs over North Dakota. And if this is right, the high Monday of next week would drop back into the uh, 50 to 55 degree range. So things kind of getting back to more wintry in terms of the temperature. Go out there later in the week. This is Thursday, the 27th. Look at the cold air digging down in here. Don't put those jackets up yet. 540 line almost down to Mobile. It looks cold. March 3rd looks wet, maybe stormy. 1,000 millibar low that's uh, near Hamilton, Alabama. But of course, this is in the land of voodoo. We're just looking for ideas and on the 4th, the uh, end of the forecast, kind of a zonal flow that would be uh, dry with a surface low over the plains. And again, maybe kind of a stormy look right after that. Keep in mind, March is the beginning of the spring tornado season here. So it is the season for anything. In March, we all know anything goes from blizzards to tornadoes and floods and beautiful days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.